guys, this video is just not going well. I've filmed this intro about 20 times and my makeup looks really weird. Yeah, so guys, hi everyone. Sorry, my neck is not laying very well. I wanted to make a little intro here because I um, wanted to apologise for how long it's taken for me to upload this video. This is my Q&A video, guys, and this has been very highly requested. Everyone's saying to me, when's it going to drop? When's it going to drop? I've just been so busy trying to sort my life out, guys. I just haven't had the time. So I'm sorry it's late. I hope you enjoy the video and let me know what you think. I haven't been able to answer all the questions. My hair is once again i'm not even joking guys every time i film i wash my hair so it's fluffy once again so yeah great yeah i haven't um do you know what i'm about yeah i haven't been able to answer all of them because obviously it's taken you know, there's so many questions and you literally gave me about 500 questions so thank you everyone uh for the questions thank you for the support everyone guys and the love you're all so amazing and um i'll see you in my next video I love coffee. Okay. Guys, can you hear that wind? It is absolutely ferocious today. enough. I just got it on my hair. Fuck bastard, look at it. What am I gonna do? It's actually on my hair. can't really talk any guys but yeah i do have bronzer in my hair great fucking great we will get this video started today <laughs> i'm going to do my lips anyway hi everyone how is everyone hi everyone how's everyone um, I'm filming another sit down video because I am on my YouTube game now and I'm literally going to smash it guys I really am no matter what people say or do or whatever, I don't give a shit anymore okay, and yes I do have um, a black eyeliner on my hand and I don't care what anyone says right, so now I'm just going to do my lips Can you actually hear that rain, that, that wind? It's ferocious, isn't it? I love these videos, guys. They really inspire me. It's as blunt as a cunt. So, one second, guys. Guys, I just bought some um, shorts from 
There's some joggers. These joggers I'm wearing right now are from Brandy Melville. Actually, this is such a vibe. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to do this. This is a motherfucking vibe, and I don't care what anyone says. I thought you broke them then. <laughs> this is going to be my picture. No, what's my picture going to be? my picture guys <laughs> right I love these right okay anyway okay let me do my um lips sorry I might not even keep this bit in the video I just put my sharpener My sharpener. Oh my god. For God's sake. Great. So I've lost my sharpener. So I had it in my hand and now it's actually just disappeared. So I can't actually sharpen anything. Guys, what the fuck is going on? Where's my sharpener? I found it. Guys, this morning I kind of got out of bed and I was um I got up out of bed and I had a bad dream and I just kind of shot up out of bed and banged my hand, banged my hand, banged my hand on the wall. And I've literally fucked my hand, look at it, it is literally blue. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Also, um, there's no light, so I'm gonna have to actually just open those blinds. We will start the video this year, sometime this year maybe. I will actually keep you informed of when we will start this video. Okay guys, that should be a bit better now. So these are the joggers I bought from Brandy Melville guys and they are small and they're huge. I can't even like, oh that's better. Is that too much light? or not <sighs> okay let me do my hence eyebrow um fucking you know what i don't know anymore to be honest with you i don't know anything anymore actually okay I have actually um, washed my hair. So we have another situation of really, really soft, like crappy hair. Anyway, oh my hand, sorry guys, it really hurts. Hi everyone and welcome to my, ugh, why am I doing that? Welcome to my video. No, today is a Q&A video. And why is that there? This chair is just not cute, is it? There we go. Today is a Q&A video, guys, and I've asked you in the comments to send me all the questions in the world. And you've sent me some amazing questions. Like, I can't actually believe the 
response like you've all just gone really really crazy for the answers for the questions which is good gone crazy for the questions i'm just not with it today okay so i'm gonna just get into them you know i've wasted enough time today fucking around with you guys so i have all my questions on my laptop and i will just be looking at them right now for you and i love that blind situation there oh, i think that's really cute you know like it's like an effect, you know, like a, what do you call it? It's like an effect. Okay, so, you know, like on like um, an app. I don't know, I will see it one day. Okay, so we're going to answer the questions. I won't say who has answered, who's asked me these questions because, um, I don't know if you want me to say your name, but if you basically... Once I say the um, the question and I uh, read it out, if you guys, I'm loving this, if you guys um, want to say in the comments, that was my question, that's absolutely fine. So first question, hey, my question is, would you ever consider dyeing your hair other colours than blonde? Like maybe a dirty blonde. Sorry, is this angle really quite disgusting? Because I do feel like it's really quite disgusting. No? Like maybe a, a, a dirty faded, a fa dirty blonde faded ginger. Number, yeah. So would I ever dye my hair a different, other than blonde? Um. Well, I have actually just toned my hair. It's quite ashy today. But apart from that, I have actually wanted to go kind of maybe put some dark brown in my hair. And you know, like um, highlights in my hair. I have thought about that, you know. Um, but I don't, I don't think I'll ever have my hair other than blonde. I'm, I am blonde at, uh, at heart, guys. And it's just who I am. And... Um, yeah, I couldn't ever be brown again. I don't know. I would never say never, but it would have to be like a combination of... That's my sleepy juice, guys. Do you love it? It would have to be a combination of brown, like like a blonde with like brown in it, but never brown by itself. But never say never. What do you think about vegan and vegetarian diets? What... Sorry, I'm going to have to have a breakdown. Let me read it like this. What do you think of vegan and vegetarian diets? And... Vegan and vegetarian, um, I think it's your prerogative. If that's what you want to do, that's what you're, you know, passionate about, then why not? You know, if that's, everyone has a right to do what they want to do in life. Um, I wouldn't ever go, I probably would go vegetarian because I don't eat much meat. I literally have chicken now and again. I couldn't go vegan because I love my cottage cheese. It's all I eat, guys, you know, this with my eating disorder. I couldn't eat anything. I, I couldn't go vegan. But yeah, if that's what you want to do. I just don't agree in pushing it down someone's face. Like some people do, you know, like. Yeah. Um, my hand is fucked. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it wouldn't necessarily. Um... Guys, this video is going to take 10 years. Just to let you know. I hope you've got like popcorn and stuff because. I'm going to have a breakdown. I'll just put some of this in my hair because it looks really frizzy. It smells like candy, this. Yeah, so, yeah, as long as you're not... Because some people, you know, like, with passionate views, they force it down someone's neck. I don't like people that do that. So as long as it's not forced down my neck, it's fine. It's the thing you do in your free time aside from filming. Nothing. I don't have a life. I literally, sometimes I go out, sometimes I go, sometimes it's like very rarely, um, just chill, I like to go on YouTube, not as much actually, because no one actually makes any good content these days, I don't think, I just, I like to just be a hermit, but when I go out, I kind of don't have any friends whatsoever, I don't think, guys, I've got one friend, but even though I don't really see her that much, um, just I'm quite an introvert. I like to keep myself to myself, believe it or not. And I just get on with my life. Something's not right. 
what is this <laughs> right hi gorgeous would you be so open about your mental health what advice would you give to people who suffer from anxiety and depression i would give you the advice i would say take every day as it comes you know don't get overwhelmed in your emotions and if, if you sorry i can't and if you do get overwhelmed in your emotions just try and like refrain from doing so i know it's harder said than done but just take a deep breath and just think about the now oh no why am i saying that all the fucking psychotherapists say that and it doesn't wash ignore that i would say don't deny your feelings feel how you feel you know if you feel angry let it be don't deny how you feel why is this curly yeah, don't deny how you feel, you know, let your feelings be heard. Um, know that it will pass. You just need to speak to people, you know, don't keep things to yourself. Even if it's writing on a on your phone, that your notes, you know, what, what you're going through. Don't keep things bottled into you, to yourself because it doesn't do any favours for anyone. And just know that you've got support. You've got me, you know, you can always message me. I've got, I'm on Instagram, xxfmattison, TikTok which is the same, and I do have a lives account, which I go on quite a bit. Um, and there's a question actually about TikTok I wanna answer a bit later in the video, which I'll, which I'll actually, un which will make sense when I speak. Um, but yeah, just write it out. Do this, this feeling won't last forever. Do something that you enjoy, like whether it's taking a bath, uh, watching TV, going outside, do something that can distract you. And it will be fine, honestly, guys, it will be fine. I go through anxiety every day, but just know that you're not alone and you've got someone there. If you don't have anyone there, there's always a hotline. There's a Samaritan's hotline. There's people that, you know, that are there for you guys. You're never alone. So remember that. Do you hate it when people compare to HRH? Uh, no, I don't hate it because I love her. I just don't like the mean comparisons when people are like, you just do this to, to, to HR. I don't like that. I like it when you give me a good compliment about her because she's like my kind of like aspiration in life. Like she's successful. She's got a business. She's flying high in life. And she's got everything. She's just the epitome of like hard. My hand is like fucked. Look how swollen it is. It's the epitome of just. She is just like success and hard work pays off i'm quite impatient so i need to work on that and just realize that life just doesn't come for free it doesn't just come like that you have to kind of put the effort in and i i'm guilty of like being a bit i want it now kind of thing i'm very impatient what do you eat in a day um basically what i've told you rice cakes cottage cheese salsa <laughs> Uh, sweets, I eat sweets. It's really weird for people to eat in disorders because you don't think that they're ever going to eat sweets. You think, why? You know, sweets is like a, a bad food, but it's not. It's whatever um, your brain allows you to eat. I mean, I would rather eat sweets than like a full dinner. Do you know what I mean? Guys, I've just talked to my makeup. <laughs> Yeah, so what was I talking about, guys? So, hi, Fabs. My question is, what are you, what is your favourite place you've travelled to and what is your bucket list or wishes, desires for the future? So my favourite place I've travelled to, I have not really been many places, guys. I've been to Spain, obviously Italy where I was born, and um, Egypt. And, Cy yeah, Cy and Cyprus as well. So I would say Spain, where I've been to now, because I loved I loved when we went to Marbella. Um, it was so nice. It was like really all the shops and the, the beachfront and all that. That was amazing. I'd love to travel again there. But my number one place to travel would be like LA or, you know, um, America, definitely. Because I think that my lifestyle fits me so well over there. Um I'd love to live in LA. I think that's where the opportunities happen. Hollywood, it's like a different life, I think. So that would be my number one, I think. Oh, that's not playing right now. 
Let me roll that probably down a bit. No, I don't like that. Okay, what about you? Right, so. Hi, hope you're well. I'm wondering if you went to university, what did you study? I didn't go to university. I went to college and I did three A-levels in IT and business. This was about, I think I was 19 when I finished. Was I 19? Was I 19 or 20? That was ages ago. Like, what, 11 years ago? More than that. I'm rubbish at that. Um, and I studied IT and business, IT practitioners, IT, it's IT and business. So it was like a, it was really geeky. Lots of uh, computer programming and um, um, just really hard things. And like we had to make our own computer game and it was not me at all. Like I don't know how I even passed it, to be honest with you. I was quite, not geeky, but I was quite, I was quite good back then before I discovered the world of like going out and like rebelling. <laughs> but yeah, why does my hair look so Yes, where was I, guys, again? Uh, wishes and desires for your future. I would like... Uh, my ideal future would be just to kind of really do amazing on YouTube and support myself on YouTube. But at this point, guys, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Like, I've been I've been stuck at 19.2k for about four months, and it's because I haven't been making as many videos. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think some people it's easier to get to the top than others story of my life is just everything takes about 100 years and I never get to anywhere I want to be so we'll see but that would be my number one um sorry I'm touching my hair guys I know you're all gonna have a go at me but I don't care um that would be my number one actually just to do something I love and then do well at it it's not difficult but it seems to be for me um Hey, I hope you're well. I'm wondering, if you went to university, what did you... Oh, I've said that one already. Oh, no, I read someone else's. Sorry, guys. Uh, what job... If you... I don't want to talk about the jobs, guys, because it's personal to me. But if you travelled... If you could try any different career, what would you try? I've just said now, like, something creative, social media fashion, dancing, makeup, something creative, which is completely what I didn't do, uh, which I should have done, but, and I love the show Below Deck, do you watch it? Thanks, and I'm so sorry if you've covered any of this already. No, I have never seen Below Deck. I presume it's a sh something to do with, like, ships or something. Let's have a look, guys. It is a reality TV show profiles a group of young people who work abroad oh i think i've seen it so i have never seen never really watched it for a long long time i don't think like yeah so i've never seen below deck but i've heard about it and yeah next i've got so i'm not going to get through all these guys there's so many Hello, I wish you luck, good luck, and I hope that everything beautiful that you, I hope that everything beautiful that you wish may come true. I will, I want to ask you something important and for a reason, because I have social anxiety since two years ago. When do you want, or when do you have to go out in public, do you feel a little anxiety, and how do you get rid of it? Send you lots of, uh, my anxiety is through the roof, guys, Num completely all the time, every single day, of the, every day of the, of the week. And when I go out, especially as well, because it all, I always feel like people are judging and, and yeah, it is, it's not great. I just kind of, it gets to the point where I have to write everything down on my phone to kind of, um, like before I do things, I have to write them down the night before because I get so stressed out about doing things. And that is crazy because normal, not, not normal people, but other people will just go out and just do what they want to do. Do you know what I mean? But I have to. Kind of almost prep, set myself set myself up to go out and do something, and the anxiety is out of this world, crazy guys. It definitely is. So I would just say, yeah, I have a lot of it. How do you get rid of it? You never really can get rid of anxiety. I think you, you can just put a kind of you can just control it. So I would just if you've got 
I've got email. If you've got if you've got earphones, put some earphones in, put some music on, or talk to you know a friend on the phone while you're going outside. Find a distraction. Don't think too much into it because it will be okay. It's just the initial fear and. Nine times out of ten, when you go out and, and you do things, you feel absolutely fine. Like, once you get there, you just think, why was I being stupid? So just believe in yourself and just know that, you know, it will pass. It's just a stupid temporary feeling of anxiety. And you'll feel so much better once you've done what you need to do. When you come home, you'll feel so accomplished because you feel, oh, my God, my anxiety hasn't got the, be the best of me. So I would... Um, like it's my number one is music put some music in your ears and just put the best song that you love and that should take away your anxiety what are your favorite music genres what scented candles do you prefer and will you continue making food content favorite music i'm gonna have to speed through these a bit more faster guys because i'm never gonna actually get i want to kind of read everyone's question but i will if i miss some out guys i do apologize what are your favorite music genres i don't really have a favorite music genre um any music really that has good beats or good sounds is music that I love. Um, I love classical to rock to pop, like anything is what I love. And it's like, if I touch my hair one more time, you're going to have a good one. Um, what candles do you prefer? I love bougie, expensive candles. I like the um, Bredo candles. I like the... Uh, What's the other one? Diptyque. Anything that's really expensive smelling. Not just in like... When I say expensive kind of, I don't mean like price. Uh, but they tend to be pricey. Um, something that smells really thick and woody and like strong and like really cool, almost overpowering. Because that's when the candles last a long time. When you've got that. When they're just... My face looks fat. Yeah. And... Uh, food content... I'm not sure, guys. For now, it'll be a no because I just don't... Number one, the passion is just not there. I mean, I was thinking if I do have, like, decide to have a McDonald's or something, like a treat day, and I just I will just film it, I could just do something like that off the whim. But I don't think... I just don't... I just... I can't justify spending all that money for something I don't really enjoy doing and being worried about it making me gain weight. I just... It's not where I want to be in my life right now. And it was for a long time, but it's just people change, you know, things change. And yeah, but never say never. I'm obsessed with your videos. My question is, what are your goals for 2022? Um, To do something that's true to my heart. Don't be stuck in something I am depressed with, not enjoying it. And to just do me... Do what, do what feels right for my soul and my heart and everything else will follow, I think. My question, hey Fabs, my question, what has been your favourite fragrance to wear? Well, my favourite fragrance to wear, favourite fragrance, is Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. Now, my dear, dear friend Yolanda, she is unbelievably amazing. She's like my second mum. She bought me this, I think it was last year for Christmas, and I've been trying not to use it because it's so decadent. It's just amazing. I do have the Lure as well, which um, I've had a couple of years. And this is just, I actually wear this to bed, which is like really kind of like pretentious, but I love to wear it to bed with nothing on. I think that's what Chanel said, not Chanel, it is Chanel, isn't it? Um, and I just love it. It's just, the smell is just, <sighs> it's decadent. It's just expensive smelling. It's just beautiful. It really is. And it's the original. It's the Coco Mademoiselle. Um, and I love it. So Yolanda, she is a mo she's so amazing, guys. She has given me so many kind donations in the past. She is an amazing woman, and so is her daughter and her husband and everyone else of a family member. I love you, Yolanda, and I hope you're watching this. Um, okay, so in love with your style fabs, gotta say it. My question is, what is your inspiration in life? I want to know the life you dream of, and will we see new fashion vlogs? Love you, beautiful babe. The life I dream of is HRH collection. <laughs> Living in Hollywood. 
in America, where she lives. I think she lives in Brentwood, doesn't she? Or did she move? I can't remember. Um, living that life, being successful and just doing nice things. I mean, just being that, I don't know, just not having to worry about anything. Uh, yes, do fashion vlogs. Oh my God, yeah, I'll be doing fashion vlogs. I'll be doing so much videos, guys. So many different things. So stay tuned. Another question is, do you enjoy going going on TikTok lives? Your personality is different on there. I love your YouTube videos, though. Very, It's very therapeutic. So, now, I want to clear this up. My hand is going to fall off. The, th the reason why I'm different on TikTok is, number one, I get so horrifically bullied and trolled. It's unbelievable, guys. And number two, YouTube is very, very filtered. You can't say a bad word in the video or even put, like, the word shit on a title in the video. You can't do it. And it's very filtered. So you can't be... You've got to be filtered on this app. This is how it's become YouTube. So I am going to be a slightly toned down version of myself. Whereas TikTok, you can really just... I mean, you do kind of... People do kind of get banned and stuff. But it's not like... You can play music. You can... There's much more grounds to do what you want to do on TikTok, whereas here it's very PG. So that's probably the difference between my personality. But uh, if I could be like I was on TikTok here, I would be. <laughs> I'd probably do better, actually. Mm. Okay. So many questions. How do you deal with people in life who are rude and disrespectful? I would just tell them to fuck off, number one. I just don't listen and... Let it go over your head, guys. I mean, I've gone through so much in my life now that I just don't actually give a shit. So if people want to say things about me, they can. I really don't care. I'm sorry to say, guys. It's five to five, guys, and I'm scared the sun's going to go in. So, yeah. I can't stop touching my hair. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so just... I think the older you get, the less you care. That's where I am in life now. I don't give a flying fuck. So if people want to say things, bring it on, bitch. Where would you travel if you could? I've said this already. US, 100%. Hey, what's your biggest dream in general? And what's the biggest thing you wish to have from the high-end brands? I would like a Balenciaga. Or a bit no, fuck that. I want a Birkin. Yeah. A Birkin or a Hermes, uh, what's it? The Hermes H bag. Yes. But they're so hard to find, guys. So, biggest dream is to be successful on YouTube or just any other media outlet that's creative. That is what I would, my hand hurts. So much. I can't even barely. Have I broken my fingers? I feel like I've broken my fingers. I think I've broken my. I think I've broken my finger, guys. This that isn't straight. I've broke my finger. Oh my god. Oh, is it swollen? I think I've broken my finger. That doesn't look right to me. Fuck, it hurts as well. <gasps> Shit. Let me Google it, guys. Shit. Oh, these pictures are awful. broken it i think i've actually broken my finger oh my god anyway let's carry on i think i broke my finger great oh my god <laughs> the fuck anyway come on let's carry on. oh where did you get your ghost chair my ghost chair is cartel and i bought this a few years ago Hey, babe, I was wondering what's your favourite fashion brand and we'll be seeing outfits haul. Yes, you will. Fashion brand would be... I don't really have a fashion brand, to be honest. 
uh, maybe Chanel. I would love to get some Chanel clothes or something like that. But I would prefer, I prefer High Street. I think spend designer on handbags and High Street on clothes. That's what I think. What's your favourite lip combo at the moment? And what's your favourite fragrance? I've answered the fragrance one. Lip combo is Subculture by um, MAC. And I like Barry M. Uh, there's two that Barry M does that I love. I can't remember what they're called now. Let me get them out. Oh my God. If I've broken my finger, does that mean I have to go to hospital? <laughs> no. Is it Barry M? Barry M... Is it like, it's like, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember what they are now, guys. I like browns a lot. That's my favourite kind of colours. Barry, um, toast. And the other one is like a, a, is it peony, I think it's called? God knows. Uh, oh my God, I've actually broken my finger. It doesn't look right. Fuck. The bone feels weird there. Or is it meant to, I think it's meant, I think it's just swollen. Uh, right, number three. I've, I've had this, all this, all of these written down, guys. Uh, hey, hon, hope you're all is well. I would like to ask what do you do for a living and what would be a dream job? Now, I don't want to say what I do for a living because it's private uh, or what's happened. But... My dream job, YouTube. Like, like I said before, I, I, there's a lot of repetitive questions here. What do you think about plastic surgery? Have you had any? If not, would you get any? What would you do? I think plastic surgery is amazing. You know, if you want it, get it. I should have said it before. Trying to hide it. Take it. I wasn't sure anymore. Yeah, if you want it, get it. Honestly, I think it's amazing. It enhances people. I'm all for it. Hi, babe. My question is, how your dating life been? Uh, are you in love? And also super random, would you ever start in a reality TV show? Yes, I've been in a reality TV show in a heartbeat, guys. 100%. Get me on. Everyone say, everyone goes to me, you should be on Big Brother. You're like the whole, like, stereotypical, because I've got a loud personality, like, boring um and obviously yeah i've been in love and i don't really want to talk about my dating life though but yeah i want to keep it private because everyone like speculates and shit and it's my business so my business but yeah love is amazing where are you from you're so well spoken always very clear my family um my my in my mum is english my dad's italian and my mum is from a very well good well good background from a very good background, so that's probably where I get my accent from. My, I won't say posh. I'm quite well spoken. I speak well. Um, yeah. I hi, love your videos. Love watching you. My question is: Before moving to a new place, did you live with your boyfriend? <laughs> Why does everyone want to know about this question? <sighs> what do you do for work, or what did you? No, again, I'm not answering my, my work questions, guys, because it's private for me and. If I answer that, then it's just, it's too much. You know, I have to have draw a line sometime, but thank you for asking me. Um, what would you like to do as a lifetime career? YouTube! No, something creative, something that I enjoy, something that I love. Um, and yeah. I'm not using that straw anymore, am I? This video is going to be forever long. I really appreciate all these questions, guys. They're really cute. Hello, Fabs. I was wondering, what do you do for a living? Again, I'm not going to say, about, I'm not going to talk about jobs. Um, it's private. And yeah. But I am a YouTuber now. I am back on YouTube. So make what you will from that. Um, and I'm going to smash it, guys. going to love it. And this is my only passion, guys. And this, this, the love and support that you guys have shown me has been immense. And I always feel guilty when I don't post because I just love the YouTube life. If it, if I could be paid like I would with a normal job, I would be doing this all the time. But I've tried that once. It hasn't worked. I kind of, I do want to try this again. I do. And we'll see where we go. But apart from the money, guys, 
I love the community that we have. I mean, you've been with me, what, four years? You've never judged me. You've understood me, and I appreciate that. Why does my lipstick keep coming off? It's really shit. Your name is beautiful. Is it Italian? Or oh, and if so, which side of your family is Italian? Yep, yeah, I'm half Italian. My dad's Italian. I've not seen him since I was eight. My mum's English. So Fab's um is Italian. Any Netflix shows you recommend? Oh God. I don't know. I don't really watch Netflix, but I watched something called Bird Box a few years ago, and it's a film, and I've never been able to get my head. That is just, how me able to get my mind off it. It is so psychologically thrilling. Wow. Oh, there's also a new Netflix show called, um, something to do with this heiress that pretend, no, this girl that pretends to be an heiress and she's German. What's it called? Reinventing Anna or something? I'll flash it up. I'm just watching that now. Just like, I'm going to watch the beginning part, but that's supposed to be amazing. So, Celebrity Crush. Oh my God. Jared Leto. He's fit. Brad Pitt. Who else? I don't really have any. Jared Leto, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, hi, girl. This is me, Lowen. How are you? Now, I presume Lowen doesn't mind me talking, saying her name because she said her name in here, so she doesn't want to read it out. But hi, Lowen, you are a ride or die subscriber of mine and you're great. So thank you for saying hello and I hope you're okay. You're so sweet. You've always supported me. If you could have one talent to possess that you currently do not have, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. That's difficult. A talent that I don't have. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm like a spy or something and like earn millions being a spy. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Something like that. Hi Fabs, how co how do you cope with online hate? Um how do you deal with, with them? By the way, you're amazing, much love. Thank you. I just learned to fuck off, guys, honestly. They're just just pathetic. Waste of space that are just bullying other people. I haven't got time for it, so I don't even let it, you know, I'm so thick skinned now. In the beginning, it used to really affect me. But now I just say, goodbye, bitch. No, I just don't let it get to me at all. Um, and I don't actually let it get to me, it's just weird. Sometimes the odd comment does make you think, shit, like I'm going to get really riled. But it doesn't happen often. But for the hate, there's more love. So I focus on the love, I really do. And I love winding people. Like on TikTok, I literally sit there and like wind everyone up. Like I'm like a wind up merchant. I love trolling the trolls and they absolutely hate it. And I love it. I get such a kick out of it. Are your family and partner supportive through your eating disorder? Please ignore if you don't want to speak about it. Yes, of course. Everyone's been supportive in my life, previous, past or, you know, people before and in my, you know, that have been and gone in my life and, but people don't really understand, I think, when when you go through it, they can be supportive, but unless they've gone through it, they don't really understand, I don't think. It's got to be a personal thing that you've gone through. Um, but yeah, people just don't really know what to say, I don't think, when you talk about eating disorders. It's very taboo, I think, still. Um, and I'm so sorry you're going through the same, and I hope your family's supportive of you, and they, you know look out for you if they don't give me a message on here honestly i'm here for everyone that needs me you know people are saying why how do you talk you talk about your eating disorder so openly like people can see sometimes see me like oh, shit that shit me up people can sometimes see the fact that i talk with so, so openly as like really braggy and like but it's because i've been through the denial stage and now i'm in the acceptance stage so now it's like i acknowledge what i'm going through right now and i'm still going through my eating disorder and it is really really bad still hasn't improved but i'm hopeful and yeah it's shit it's not good i'm gonna sit and say it's amazing but you know, you gotta have hope hope guys and we will get through it have to have hope 
what are your favourite kind of videos to watch on YouTube? Do you have any hobbies outside of YouTube that outside of YouTube that we don't see? Things to help you relax and switch off. My legs are gonna drop off, guys. Crap. Uh, my favourite kind of videos. I don't really watch any videos on YouTube apart from there is the odd like Korean mukbang. Um, Trisha Paytas. I've uh, I watched her. She's now having a baby, which I think is so amazing. HRH. It's like the only thing I watch. Uh, and I watch like stupid things like research about like I don't know history not history like just random stuff like yeah um it doesn't really help me relax and switch off to be honest I do like to watch Prime Amazon Prime Real Housewives I watch that a lot I love that I love Kyle I think she's amazing she's my favorite if you could collab with anyone in America who would it be H R H collection please send this video to H R H guys and let her know that I want to collaborate collaborate with her. I would die if I met her. Like, can you imagine me and her in a video? I would just, I couldn't breathe. I fucking love everything she says about it. You know, like when she says, if you don't get it, you don't get it. I get it. You know, like when she talks about certain things and she doesn't even, you, you kind of feel the vibe. It's not just about having the vibe. It's like feeling what she's saying and it makes sense. Do you know what I mean? I just get her. I get what she's trying to do. I love it. Right. Ooh. Why do you fidget with your hair and clothes so much? I think it's a nervous thing. I really do. Not, not, no, actually, fuck that. It's not a nervous thing. I think it's just me. And I like things to look perfect on camera. It's a comforting thing, I think. And every time I go on my video, my hair is literally fluffy. So I have to flatten it. And I have a hit kink there for some reason. And yeah, my clothes. That is just who I am. I don't know. If you don't like it, don't watch. That's what I say to everyone. Uh, it's who I am. And I can't stop doing it. I've done it from the beginning. People think it's because HRH does it. No, I've done it from the beginning. Look at all my videos. I used to go like this. My old mirror. I used to go like that. Do you remember the old video? And I was like, I've done, always done it. I'm very vain. I don't care what people think about that. I'm very vain. What's your star sign and do you vibe? What don't you vibe and do you vibe with? I don't vibe with rude people, judgmental people, um, Karens, um, specifically. Uh, I vibe with, you know, cool people, fashion, just loving, like, just vibes, like, you know, like, clothes vibes and just smell vibes, like, amazing places vibes like cool hangouts and like food you know, and like just like auras you know, you know like good vibey auras if you know what i mean you gotta know you got to know what it sounds rubbish but you know like just like i don't know how to describe a vibe is like you just feel it in like your system it's like in your like adrenaline uh and i'm an aries if you were able to do to, to do any celebrity if you were able to be any celebrity for a day, would it be Britney Spears, guys? Oh, my God. I go on TikTok a lot and I dance and I'm Britney. I tell everyone I'm Britney. Britney Spears, I would be. 100%. Do you believe in ghosts after life? Yes, I do. But my best friend passed away in March. It's going to be a year next month. And she hasn't come to haunt me yet i keep saying i want her to haunt me every day so i am gonna have to go and see a medium i want to see a medium just to kind of get the closure that i need but i just need to see her like, like come on make an appearance please i'd love for her to haunt me in a nice way you know like obviously in a good haunting way my arm is gonna, my hand's gonna fall off other new youtube what is your job i'm not saying i don't want to say about jobs guys I can't talk about jobs on YouTube. Oh my God. I look so glam going to work. I did not look glam. I feel like a tramp. Really curious about your big three. Sun, moon and rising. Ask your mum, what time and city you're born in? I was born in Italy. Time, I don't know, guys. I might have to flash it up when I ask her if I can speak to her in time for the video. I think it was like half one in the morning, I think. I was a Sunday child, I know that. 
Can you talk about your upbringing, childhood and where you grew up? Yeah, I grew up in Italy until I was eight years old. My dad was a, not a very nice dad, to be honest with you. And um, he never was a dad to me or my sister. He was just a, a parent figure. My mum was my mum and my dad. She's brought me and my sister up. When she was struggling, you know, I want to say struggling, but obviously she's a, she, was, she was a single mother and she's done so amazing for herself now. She's She's retired early for herself um she deserves it you know she's been my strength and for what i'm going through right now as well she's been the most supportive person ever and i can never ever re i'll never be able to repay her for the kindness that she's done for you know shown and the support and um i mean my stepdad as well he's lovely as well he's really supportive but she's just been my mum and my dad, my mum, and she's just been a warrior, really. When she felt like breaking down, she was strong. And we've never went without, me and my sister, never, we never went without anything. We were always catered for. And yeah, she's like, yeah, amazing mum. So I don't miss having a dad because my mum is my mum and my dad. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've never missed having a dad. His, my dad has never been a dad. Um, I called him by, my, by, by his first name. Yeah. Hello, so my question is, did you have a dream job? Like, always something you wanted to do? Yes, I've answered that. I've always wanted to be, like, kind of media-related, definitely. And the last uh, question is, hi, Fabs, are you going to make a mukbang video? I've answered this before, and never say never, guys, but right now, it's not something that I would want to do. I just think, you know, it's just not something that's, worthy buying food for and then just you know not really enjoying it you know i was in a trap i didn't know how to get out and i thought now i've started to do the vlogs and stuff i've got a kind of what you know people actually prefer the vlogs to the to the food and i never really wanted to be a mock banger it was just something that i thought would make me get no what do you call it noriari notoriety is it called but yeah Never say never. Like I said, if I do fancy to, if I do want to do the odd kind of um, McDonald's or fast food when I'm, you know, an impromptu one, then yeah, I will. But I'm not going to like take two hours of my days now and film a food, food part with, it's just too exhausting. It's just what, and also, I know, I know money's not everything, but for the money that I was making, it's just, it doesn't, ju it doesn't justify it, guys. Because you end up spending more money. Sorry, I'm putting on my makeup because it's getting really dark. You spend, you end up spending more money on the actual food that you get making than the actual video. <coughs> it doesn't make any sense. But I know you all enjoyed them. And I'm sorry I can't give you them right now. I mean, I have done a million mukbangs in the past, guys. So there is still videos there for you to watch. And that is it, guys. I've answered all the questions. I might have missed some, some out. I'm so sorry if I have. Let me know. Um, sorry, I need to put this on one more time. Let me know in the comments what question you asked and, um, you know, what I didn't ask, what didn't answer. I'm so sorry I didn't answer. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I was all over the place. I always am. Um, please stay tuned for more videos, guys. It's going to be more, more, more. I have vlogs coming out um they are i was you know i said they're gonna be shorter they're not short i think it's gonna be about an hour again this video i just can't help myself sorry guys and you love the, the long videos as well anyway i'm gonna go because my hand is literally gonna fall off and i just don't know what's, it's literally looks like look it's just horrific love you all guys and i'll see you in my next video